What's up, Internet? Nico from Cliff Jones RV here in Sealy, Texas. I am super excited. We just got in a RPOD 193 and a 196. So I'm going to go ahead and make this video on the 193 first. Uh, the slide is in right now. So great thing about this camper, you really have full access to the whole thing with the slide in. Uh, we have a Murphy bed up front, super easy to transform. I'm hooked up to our golf carts, 12 volt power right now. So we have all the lights, uh, operation of the slide, the awning, the radio and the television, uh, you know, on this particular model, just on 12 volt power. So as you see here, full access to the bathroom, full access to your storage here, full access to the fridge as well. This is a six cubic foot propane electric Norcold, which is definitely one of the preferred brands out there. But just wanted to come back here and show you how much space you have with the slide in. Let's go ahead and open it up. Control panel is conveniently located right here by the door. So we have awning control, slide control, and main light switches, radio here. So just press and hold the button. Slide goes out. And this is a Schwintech slide system. I'll show you more about it on the outside. Uh, for those that like more of the technical specs, the hitch weight on this camper is 435. Unloaded vehicle weight is about 3,700. Cargo carrying capacity is just under 1,200. Exterior length is 2,211. Exterior height is nine feet, 10 inches. Exterior width is 96 inches. So you're gonna have 30 gallons on the uh, fresh tank, gray tank, and black tank. So this is a 12 volt television. Here we have the main power supply. You have your booster. So if the red light is on, the booster's on. If you turn it off, you're relying on built-in entertainment. I'll show you more about that on the outside. It is on a swivel, so you can get a great viewing angle throughout the camper. The Murphy bed is super easy to operate. You just grab the front here and it drops down. Now I'll just note here, this is the griddle that is included outside. It's in the box, it's sitting there. So here we have the couch laid down. You just pull this lever, this comes down, unfold the mattress and you're ready to go to sleep. And to bring it back up is even easier. Just grab the front. The spring-loaded mechanism actually locks itself. And you just grab the front and it goes down just like so. You have access to the storage here with that netting that you can remove or you have all the storage underneath there. We also have USB and standard power on both sides. This USB is operating just on 12 volt. As you see, the green light is on there. You have a little shelving area here. This window does open for cross ventilation as well as the one here in the slide. So when you're transporting the table, you do want to set it here and strap it down uh, with the straps that are there. This table is really easy to open. Just fold the legs up. And great thing about this table, it's super lightweight. You can bring it in and out, use it wherever you want. Here we go, now you're ready to play a game, enjoy a meal, whatever you want. These do have removable cup holders uh, slash armrest here. We have overhead storage, really nice solid cabinets. This is a very efficient use of storage here. You do have a wardrobe there drawers here single bunk on top there is USB charging and uh, an independent light there on the bottom we have the same this window opens this window opens as well which is really great on a beautiful day like today you can have all the windows open be on the beach or somewhere else wherever you want and get a cross ventilation going uh, with all the windows that are available on this camper this is wired for solar 30 amps max with the go power system it's plug and play on the roof you just cut this out place a module here 
and that's really about it. AC is controlled with the thermostat, which is really great. A lot of campers, you have the knobs, so you're basically 100% on or off, but with this one, it'll turn off and on just like a home. You can control the flow of the AC here uh, with the vents as well, which is really great. This is a Coleman AC, very reliable. Uh, one of the best reputations out there for appliances, which is really great. Here we are in the bathroom. This features a Thetford toilet. You have power there, light switch here. This is a Max Air fan. So if you add the Max Air guard, what you can do is travel down the road, turn the fan on, have a window open, it keeps it 10 to 15 degrees cooler in here. So your camper won't take as long to cool down. You do have four different speeds there. And just lock it back down. So we do have storage up top, these little shelves here. Here we have the shower. It does have a skylight as well for additional headroom. I'm just about, just under six feet tall. Even with my boots and head on, still plenty of room in here. One new feature in here is gonna be the shower meister. So this does uh, recirculate your water so you have hot water on demand. You do have a hygienic sink here so you can brush your teeth and shave in here without having to do so in the kitchen. Coming back to the storage here, give you a better look, it's super deep. Furnace is here, these have great insulation, so uh, this furnace is also very powerful to keep it plenty, plenty warm in here during the winter. Another look at the fridge, this is a propane electric, traditional style, which some people prefer, especially if you're going off grid. Here we have the vacuum. Uh, the hose is available as an accessory from Forest River. All you have to do is be hooked up to shore power, turn your switch on. When you lift this up, you sweep everything inside and makes cleanup really easy. Here we have our breaker box and converter. Up top, overhead storage. A range hood that actually works, it will vent outside. Burner cooktop with the glass insert to give you extra counter space. Convection microwave here in lieu of an oven. And I know a lot of people prefer the microwave over the oven. It's much more efficient, does a better job, and gives you more uh, space in there as well for cinnamon rolls or whatever you want. Here we have the one piece center mount stainless steel sink. It's not plastic like our competitors. You do get this here to give additional space as well. Residential style faucet there. For fire safety, you're gonna have traditional blinds in the kitchen. This window also opens. Storage underneath the sink. Safety device is located there. Here we have controls for the water heater and the water pump. So this is a propane and electric six gallon rapid heat water heater. You turn the um, electric or propane option on and off on the water heater itself. Uh, if you're gonna be hooked up on shore power, just keep it on electric, but if you're going off grid, go ahead and put it on uh, propane. And to turn the propane element on, you just uh, flip it there. If you're going off grid, we can fill the 30 gallon fresh tank. And if you're pulled over on the side of the road somewhere, want to use your bathroom instead of a gas station, you can just turn the pump on and that will start circulating water in the system uh, when you do not have pressurized water with the city water connection. So here we have the button for gray, black, fresh and battery. So if you just press and hold gray, it shows you from empty to full where we are, black, same. Fresh tank, same, and also your battery. We have grounded power here, fire extinguisher, and doggy bowls for bringing your four-legged friends along. Here we have the multifunction radio. It's AM, FM, has HDMI in, USB in, and Bluetooth as well. Uh, you have zone one and zone two, so you can play music just inside, just outside, or both. We can go ahead and go outside now. So these feature the new Paragon tempered glass door, makes it look a lot sharper. Now, I just wanna let you know, I get a lot of questions on this. Um, it does have a backer for security. So it's like a traditional door, it's just that they changed this side to make it look a little bit more sleek. Here we have the screen door. 
and has this little deer here, deal here to keep those te pex pesky Texas mosquitoes out. You can open and close this with that handle. It's ready for a thin shade for additional privacy. They're available in service for about $100 installed. During the day, you can't really see in here, but at night you can. So if you want to add that, we generally keep those in stock. Uh, here we have the extra large door handle with three folding positions traditional style steps, but they are very lightweight. Again, this is RPOD 193. This is an aluminum frame. I'll go ahead and step back here so you can see overall. It does have a one piece PVC roof, which is virtually maintenance free. It does have independent axles. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, start up front here. So this is an electric tongue jack. So you have to do is press and hold to raise and lower just like so. You also have a light here so you can see early in the morning and late at night. In case of worst case scenario, it does have an override here. So you just operate that nut up and down and you can raise and lower your RV. This is a two inch ball. Uh, this does have a seven way plug. So you wanna make sure your tow vehicle has a seven way plug that communicates your lights. You will also need a brake controller. Your brakes work through that. As long as you have direct line charge, it will also charge your battery while you're going down the road. It does include one propane tank here at Cliff Jones. If we can earn your business, we will fill it. Install a deep cycle interstate marine battery and give you a one hour walk through with our technician and they'll show you how everything works. Here we have the front panoramic window as well, which is really neat. Gives you more uh, natural light inside, makes it feel more open and gives you a great view of the outside. Starting at the front storage here. Great thing about the R-Pods is that this has a magnet, not a clip like on others. So those clips can become brittle over time and break. This is super easy to open with just one hand. Like that. Nice pass-through storage there. Here we have the uh, hose for the spray port for the shower and you get this as well. Here we have a 10 foot electric awning. It does feature white LED lights there underneath. Here we have the marine grade speakers. Of course, this is a fiberglass exterior behind the fiberglass instead of Luon, which is basically over glorified plywood. We have Asdel, which is a composite material. A lot of high end RVs are using this. Uh, it's lighter, stronger. Uh, if it ever gets wet, it does not mold or mildew. And you have less than 1% chance of delamination. So if you ever see older campers where the fiberglass starts to bubble off, this has less than 1% chance of happening. Here we have the mount for the grill outside, the griddle. I'll go ahead and insert a picture, but your stand just pops right on like that, super easy. And underneath here, we have the RVQ Quick Connect for propane. So if you'd like to use a different griddle, you can purchase like a $20 hose online and run that uh, wherever you want your, your griddle, but the built-in one, that's what it uses there to cook with. We also have power connections. Here we have the upgraded wheels with 15 inch tires for better towability. These are a torsion axle, not leaf spring like on others. So if you hit something on one side, the other side is undefected for better towing. Access for the refrigerator. Here's the furnace exhaust. So on a cold day, if you have your furnace on, you can stand around here and gather some warmth. Here we have the spray port for the shower that I was showing you. That is cold water only. We have a black tank flush here. So whenever you dump your black tank, just make sure the valve is open. Hook up a water hose and this cleans out your toilet tank for you. Makes life a lot easier. Keep your hands clean enough to drag a hose through the camper just to clean out the tank, which is really nice. Here we have four manual stabilizers on all uh, the corners, one on each corner. So this uses a three quarter inch bit. If you operate that with a drill, you can raise and lower them very quickly. LED tail lights are much brighter and safer. They'll practically last a lifetime. We do have a bumper here to store your sewer hose. Spare tire is here. You could also swap that for a bike rack if you wanted to. This RV is ready for a backup camera as well. Backup cameras can save lives. It does have a ladder, so you can access your roof and inspect it as you should periodically. Here we have your 30 amp power. So this is where your shore power goes in. Most campsites are 30 amp power, so you shouldn't need an adapter really or anything. This RV is ready for cable and satellite, so you just plug in there and it goes uh, inside. You just operate it there uh, where I showed you the television is. Here we have storage underneath the bunk, really great storage spot. 
on this particular camper, you're gonna have one dump station here. So this is gonna be for your uh, gray tank and black tank. Just hook up a sewer hose and choose which valve you want to open. Here we have the propane electric water heater. So what I was telling you inside, if you wanna switch it from propane and electric, you just flip that switch there. If it's on off, it's on propane. If it's on on, it's electric. Here we have the slide I was telling you about, the Schwinn Tech slide. So as you see, it's a worm gear and it has a rail on each corner. These are very, very popular with lightweight RVs. Great thing about this R pod is that the windows are also tinted for more privacy and energy efficiency. Here we have the fresh water connection. So if you wanna go off grid and operate the pump I showed you inside, you just fill this up, turn your pump on and you have water wherever you are <clears throat> in lieu of using the city water connection. Here we have the fresh water drain. So if you wanna drain your fresh tank, that's where you do that. Other side of the storage here. Here's a propane hose that's included for the griddle. 30 amp power cord that is included. And here we have the override for the tongue jack I was telling you about, and also manual operation of the stabilizers. And this RV also comes with a battery disconnect. So if you store your RV, just turn it off so it won't deplete your battery. And that's about it. Okay guys, again, it's Nico from Cliff Jones RV here in Sealy, Texas. If you like this video, please be sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, share it with your friends. If you're on Facebook, please like our page and share it as well. We also have a TikTok now as well, Cliff Jones RV and Tractor. If you're on TikTok, please check us out. We would appreciate your support. We would love to earn your business. We have these RVs in stock. As everybody knows, they're moving very quickly. We have the best price around and the best service here in Sealy, Texas. Give us a call, give us a text, visit our website, come see us. We'd love to meet you. Thanks to then.